Welcome back again. The En Yaakov for today is from Tractive Psachim, Topsy Turvy World, a Topsy Turvy World. Uh, 50A, page 50A in Tractive Psachim. Zechariah, the prophet Zechariah, and his prophecy about the coming of Mashiach days. And he says, on that day, sunlight will not be held in esteem, but it will be disdained. Zechariah 14.6 On that day, sunlight will not be held in esteem, yekarot, yekarot, but it will be disdained, on like being frozen. Zechariah 14.6 So the Gemara asks, what is the meaning of Yekarot Vekipaon? It doesn't mean Yira. Yekarot means expensive, something precious. Kipaon means frozen. So Sedra Belozor, it means that the light of the sun, which is precious, Yakar, in this world, will be looked down upon in the next world. We will look down upon the sun in the next world. For then we will have the magnificent light of the days of creation. So in comparison to the magnificent light of the days of creation and the sunlight, the sun will be looked down at or like looked, looked down upon. Rabbi Yochanan said, this light is a metaphor for the Torah and specifically it refers to the tractates of Negoim and Oyeholois. What are these tractates? They deal with the very complex laws of defilement through leprosy and through contact with a dead body. In the future world, these tractates will no longer be difficult to grasp, Yekarot, but will be easy, the Kipaon, to understand. Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi said, Yekarot ve ki pa'on refers to the people who are honored and respected. Yekarot. In, in Yekar, like I said, expense. In this world, so Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi said these two words that from the prophet Zechariah, Yekarot and ki pa'on, refers to the people who are honored and respected in this world, but who will but who will be held in contempt, the Kippon, in the future world. The Gemara prov uh, proves this by, by citing the story of Rabbi Yosef, the son of Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi. Rabbi Yosef, the son of Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi, who became sick and experienced a heavenly vision. When he came to uh, his father, uh, when he came to, when he was over it, his father asked him, what did you see there? In your, uh, in your heavenly vision, what did you see? I saw a topsy-turvy world. He replied, Those that are on top in this world occupy the lowest regions of heaven. And those that are downtrodden in this world are on top in the heavenly realm. Replied his father, Son, you did not see a topsy-turvy world. You saw a clear world, a world of true values. And how do we Torah scholars rate there? Rabbi Shobun Levi wanted to know. So replied Rabbi Yosef, his son, just as we are respected here, so are we respected there. So when it comes to Torah scholars, it's not a, it's not a topsy-turvy world. And I heard them saying, happy is the person who comes here and brings his learning with him. What does it mean, brings his learning with him? He can't take the books with him. Meaning, during his lifetime, he has learned as much as he could. And I also heard, that's the meaning of bringing your learning with you, that you, you took advantage of every moment that you had for learning. And I also heard them saying, 
no one can stand within the confines of those who died a martyrdom death on self-sacrifice at the hands of the government. No one can stand next to them. So the Gemara asks, how are these martyrs? Who are these martyrs that we that we are referring to that no one can stand next to these martyrs? Shall we say Rabbi Akiva and his colleagues? Is there only merit, is there only merit Rabbi Akiva and his colleagues that they were executed by the government and that's why no one can stand next to them, next to them and nothing else? Surely they had many other outstanding qualities beside being murdered, being killed on, on uh, being a murderer. So the Gemara answers, it refers to the martyrs of Lydia, of Olida. So even these martyrs, and no one can stand next to them when it comes to the higher world, the honor and respect that they receive in the higher world, and uh, we can say even exposure and, and heights, uh, godly revelations and so on, whatever is experienced in the higher world, they will experience much more than anyone, than anyone else because that they were martyrs. So the topsy-turvy world is really for the regular world, what we consider someone that is a dignified, respected, could be that in the, in the upper world is the opposite. And whoever we feel like he's downtrodden, in the high world it could be much greater than anybody else. So Ruchim Tiu, all be blessed, and uh, we'll continue, God willing, tomorrow at uh, about six, between six to six fifteen, we'll have another video of uh, Hasidus. Thank you all for watching.